So most people have heard the phrase data analytics and big data. Now, I mean, how long has the industry been talking about big data itself? Seems like forever, right? Well, you probably watched, read, or sat in meetings about big data. In fact, you've probably been asked whether your organization has the big data problem or not. Well, that's an oversimplification. The real question is what kind of data analysis solution does your business need? In other words, how should you store, process, analyze, and present data all the way from ingestion to presentation? Now, cloud computing is all about moving big things fast with minimal setup, maximum security, and low costs. The AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate Exam itself it validates the ability to implement data pipelines to monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize cost and performance issues in accordance with best practices. Hi, my name is Syed, and I'll be the instructor for this course. I've been in the training industry for over 20 years and I've trained thousands and thousands of students. As a senior IT enterprise architect, DevOps engineer, data engineer with cross-platform industry certifications, I'm here to give you real-world hands-on knowledge and concepts to pass the AWS Certified Data Engineer exam. So let me tell you about the exam itself. The AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate exam validates your ability to complete certain tasks, for example, like ingest, transform data, orchestrate data pipelines while applying programming concepts. Now, choosing an optimal data store, designing data models, cataloging schemas, managing data life cycles, operationalize, maintain, monitor pipelines, and much more, right? So there's so many things in this domain. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step in each of these areas so you get the required skills to pass the exam. So for example, the course agenda and the main domain areas, let me walk you through those. The exam has but four domain areas, right? First is data ingestion and transformation, which is about 34% of the exam itself. So I'm gonna be covering data ingestion patterns, for example, frequency, data history, streaming data ingestion, batch data ingestion, for example, scheduling ingestion, and how you take your data and stateful and stateless transactions, right? Reading data from streaming sources, for example, Amazon Kinesis, DynamoDB streams, AWS database migration service, and AWS DMS, and Glue, Athena, and so on. So many, many areas of services that I'll be covering in this particular domain, which is the first domain covering about 34% of the exam. Domain two is data store management, which covers about 26% of the content, right? So in this domain, I'm gonna be covering storage platforms, their characteristics, storage services, and configurations for specific performance demands, right? Data storage formats, like for example, CSV files, TFT files, how to align data storage with data migration requirements, and how to determine the appropriate solution for a specific action pattern, right? Um, other areas covered are how to manage log, for example, Amazon Redshift, RDS, and much more. Domain three is data operations and support, which is about 22% of the content. So in this domain, I'm gonna be covering orchestrating data pipelines, for example, Amazon MWAA, Step Functions, Lambda, troubleshooting, managing workflows, calling SDKs, and calling other Amazon services through code, right, to process the data. For example, Amazon EMR, Amazon Redshift, AWS Glue, and so on. Domain four is data security and governance, which is about 18% of the content. Now in this domain, I'm gonna be covering VPC security, networking concepts, a uh, difference between managed and unmanaged services, right? Authentication, encryption, security, and so on. So all of this is covered within this last domain, which is domain four, right? Uh, customer management policies and much more. So I'm gonna be covering hands-on on each of these domain areas, focusing on step-by-step -step giving you hands-on skills so you can pass the exam and also gain valuable experience from all these hands-on skills. Now, I've designed this course for beginners to intermediate level students who have a couple of years of experience working on the AWS platform, right? So if you are into cloud computing or want to become an AWS certified data engineer, then this course is for you. If you're already AWS certified, well, you are certainly going to gain some additional insight by taking this course. So what are you waiting for? If you want to become an AWS certified data engineer, click on the enroll button now and I'll see you in class.